Welcome back to Daily Devotion, the word for you today. I am Sister Maria Dwyer here at Community Baptist Church in Santa Rosa, California. I hope you are all having a blessed day. Our topic today for our devotion is the truth of creation. So remember, it was a five-parter, so we're on part three today. And our scripture is Genesis chapter one, verse two which says the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Amen. So it says science defines the universe as being made up of five components, time, space, matter, power, and motion. With that clearly in mind, read this. In the beginning time, God created power, the heaven, space, and the earth, matter. So that's what it was saying, the five components. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved, motion, upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be, and there was. That's from verses 1 through 3 of Genesis 1. The first thing God tells us in the Bible is that he created all things and that he controls all things. Now consider these quotes from three leading magazines and newspapers. One, most cosmetologists, scientists who study, oh my gosh, I said cosmetologists, that's not what it says, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was a two-parter, it cut off the word and I read it how I wanted to read it apparently. It says, most cosmologists, way more sense now, scientists who study the structures and evolution of the universe whoop, agree that the Genesis account of creation in imagining an initial void may be uncannily close to the truth. That was Time Magazine. Number two, the universe suddenly exploded into being. The Big Bang bears an uncanny resemblance to the Genesis command. That was Jim Holt, science writer of the Wall Street Journal. Number three, new scientific revelations about supernovas, black holes, quarks, and the Big Bang even suggest to some scientists that there is a grand design in the universe. That was US News and World Report. The retina in your eye contains 137 million light-sensitive cells while the focusing muscles in your eye move approximately 100,000 times a day. Well, guess what? Charles Darwin wrote in On the Origin of the Species by Means of Natural Selection, to suppose that the eye could have been formed by natural selection, evolution, seems, I freely confess, absurd in the highest degree. <laughs> Ah, that was Charles Darwin. The truth is, God made you, and he has a plan for your life. Yes, he does. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremiah 29, 11 just confirms that. I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. So um, that is your devotion for today. And I just realized I did not pray at the beginning, so I will pray. There's never a bad time to pray. So I will pray us out and send you on the rest of your day. Gracious and Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for bringing us together once again and allowing us to see another day, Lord, to just rejoice and be glad in. And we thank you for this time of devotion and, and your word that continues to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And Lord, we just ask that you forgive us our sins, those that we know of and those that we don't. And we thank you for your grace and your mercy. And we just thank you for this time together, Lord. I ask blessing upon all those that are watching, all those that will be watching, and that your message today just touches somebody in a mighty way or, you know, makes them stop and think and, and maybe just delve more into your word to find out the truth of your creation, Lord. So we just, we praise and honor you and we just ask that you have your way, Lord. And we, we love this time together in these daily devotions and just sharing your word and the love of Christ and the good news of Jesus Christ. So 
thank you and we honor and praise you. We love you. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen and thank God. Amen and thank God for you and we will see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.